Flow, and you're watching JJTV. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, it's me, Mr. Lucas. We're at a JJTV White Room special. I'm here with the king of kings, connoisseurs of hip hop. If you don't know about these guys, you better get to know about these guys. It's not the Magnificent Seven, it's not the Fantastic Four, it's the Furious Five. How you doing, guys? Yeah, no oh, deal. We got Curtis almost, Blow, we got exactly, Curtis, exactly. The King, oh, Curtis, I was, was, was going to forget the, the King, Curtis Blow, how you doing brother? Hey y'all, what's no, up? No one in the house, this is like an old school unit. I kind of look back to them for what I want to do because you look at things, like tracks like The Message, I mean, literally... Broken glass everywhere. Broken glass, sampled a million times, like, n no one has ever been... I mean, if you listen to that, it, yeah. he could come out with those lyrics, those flows, that beat, today, yep. and yep. smash it. Yep. And that's, th we're talking about when there wasn't anyone, to, so that's his yep. own inspiration. What's your earliest memory of uh, Grandmaster Flash, Furious Five? Um, probably, uh, yeah, it's got to be the message of things. Don't push me, because <laughs> I go <laughs> to the end. I'm not to lose my head. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's that, and you know I loved it, and it's still, you know, they that people don't really appreciate, you know, where hip hop come from. I think like it, the, the raps were simple back then. No, get me wrong, they're yeah. kind of simple, and people I think the keen to change the game. If I started listening to him more recently, he came with a multi syllable stuff. Yeah, but there would have been no the keen if there wouldn't. Exactly. I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. We got Kid Creole, we got Grandmaster Melly Mel, Melly Mel, Muscle Simmons, whatever you want to call him. Yeah. We got Dynamite, we got Scoopia, and of course Curtis Flow. Now guys, 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 good to see you guys, man. Oh, good. Uh, it's great to be here. here. It's always great to be here. Great also. show last night. You guys enjoy it last night? Yeah, trying to do our thing. That was great. That was great. Sure, that was good. It was a really good we did our thing. The crowd they did enjoy it. We loved it. It was. It was. Go your hands up in the air. Everybody don't like the dress so yeah. And if you're ready to rock with the very swap, somebody say, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are the response. 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 First time you performed in the UK? Oh, uh, that was in what? 80, 80, 82, maybe? Yeah, 82. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's the difference like from 82 till last night? Mm. Any crowd? Any crowd difference? Any? Well, the crowd is always good over right. here. Right. I mean, like the, the time first time, time that actually one of the first times we came over here, they had in the magazine that that was one of the best performances ever, like the top performances in the last yeah. 20 years. So we always we always did good over here. It's I mean, White Lines was an, uh, a number one record here. Step off. Yeah. We, you know, we always did good over here. It's funny that because when I was at the show yesterday, there was a guy who was in the crowd and he said he came to your first show and he was at, and he was at this show last night. And he's like, nothing's changed. These guys are still amazing. Like, they're back in the yeah. 80s. Well, you know, that's just, that's just something that we do and we love to do it and, you know, we're good at it and, you know, we just like performing and, and just, that's our thing. Yeah. So, and then and we, and we had Curtis up there with us, so that we went in the overdrive, boy. Yeah. We went to the moon. I couldn't even sleep last night. I was still amped from the show. I'm going to do another <laughs> show right now. <laughs> I don't know how true it is. I don't know really how true it is, but somebody has told me that Curtis Blow is in the building, y'all.
those old days, yeah. you know, when we used to jam out in the park and, and, and the Furious was like the hottest group in New York City in yeah. 1977, I mean, 78, you know what I mean? And they step on stage at the big, big gym and it's nothing but like <laughs> 3,000 kids out there. Yeah. It had that same electricity. Yeah, I saw, you know? I, I saw you dancing on stage. I thought he was going to a seizure when you was dancing. I thought, look at the paramedics. Man, I, I, like, I, oh, yeah, they... I didn't know you had <laughs> All right, here I go. Here we go. Oh. It's, it's sort of like, you know, now I'm retarded, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we, we all used to be b-boys. We all used to be b-boys. Yeah, that's how we started yeah, the out. Furious Five started out as a break dance. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Right. right. Oh, not, well, not, not, not the Furious Five, but at, individually, we all we used yeah, to we break dance. Flash, we were Flash with DJ and we was the D-Squad. Before we started rapping, we was the D-Squad. Right, so we, we all, all broke oh, in. Okay. Yeah. And, um, but not the way they be doing it now, though. Right, right. yeah. All right. We used yeah. to be doing some old... Up rock, rock, yeah, up that's rock, rock. yeah, some finesse. And for a lot of people that don't know, that's the way uh, that the Furious really met Flash. You know what I mean? Yeah. The right. first time we met him, it was this character called Mean Gene. Brought him to our junior high school. The channel. Me and Mel had a group. Yeah. You know what I mean? We used to break dance, and that's how we met Flash. We you know, we broke against them. We and, beat them too. Right. And we <laughs> and we tore up and Flash's hind quarter. quarter. That's the first time we ever met Flash. We you know tore up I mean? that boy hind quarter. Okay. <laughs> so who was the best break crab you know? I think Mel. Was yeah, Mel. Mel. It was Mel. Yeah. 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 Definitely. yeah I was. Definitely. Did you teach yeah. them a lot as well? No, I mean, everybody had their own thing everybody going had. on, but you know, it's like, I, when I was young, I was a, a, like kind of athletic. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and I was doing it for, I was doing it for the ladies, so I was <laughs> <laughs> putting a little extra on it. <laughs> yeah, but you can't go on the talk with a girl and start no. busting windmills. No, 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 but, but, but it, it was more like them. a finesse, it right. was more like a finesse them. dance. It wasn't like a, a windmills and nothing like that. Like our whole thing was like, we used to be clean, like you see how you got the crease in his pants right there? So now the whole thing was you have a crease in your pants, you would have on white sneakers, and you can't scuff nothing up. If, right. you, if you scuffed up your sneakers and all that, right. you was doing something wrong. So we was like real smooth and had, you know, fancy feet and good hands. We was like more finesse kind of guy. And, and we tried to dress alike. And you got, and, and we want y'all to definitely know, this is like way, when we say break this way before rock steady yeah. and any of them cats, you know what I mean? We was like the original, Bronx B boys, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yes, yeah, yeah. That's where B boys came from, yeah. breakers, you know what I'm break, saying? Break boys. Break boys, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I noticed like, you, you mentioned the fashion. The fashion back, le back those times was kind of funky. You had like big shoulder pads, cowboy boots, and and all the rest of it. And yeah, that was after we started making that, records. Right, right. We, we, what we was trying, what yeah. we was trying to do, we was trying to be rock stars because we knew, you know, like the, the whole hip, the, uh, the 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 rap thing was one thing, and we came. I mean, we came from the street, so what we was trying to do was do something different. We didn't have a band, mm. so if you're gonna get in front of a crowd, you had to have a, a. If you didn't have the band, you had to have at least a commanding image when you're yeah. standing there. You have to look like you was in in control of the crowd. So that's how we got the, the you know the master kind of you know the spikes and the yeah, leather yeah, and the yeah. whips and the chain so we could look like we had a command over the crowd and, and it really and it worked was, for us. I mean, yeah, yeah. Right. Did, and it was a good image and we, you know, like we tried to be rock stars. We wasn't trying to be like high cats, trying to be, you know, we keeping it real, we yeah. from the hood. I mean, we was from we the hood from so the we didn't have to be, represent right. that. We was right. trying to represent something yeah. else. Yeah. yeah, so cats, I saw you um, some old footage on some of the pops using your Christmas wrapping. Oh my God. you having this like, this, this tweed. Carlton type suit on. You still got that suit? No. no. <laughs> what, a, what kind of question is that? <laughs> that suit is long gone. As a matter of fact, I don't think I can fit it anymore. You know. Yeah. I think my waist was like a 26 or 25. I was just real skinny. You was well excited. Yeah, you was yeah. well excited at the performance. You're like all happy and that. And that. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't perform it yesterday. What happened? I, I did the second half of it. The right. crowd response when we first came yeah, out. Yeah, that was yeah, the song I did. Yeah. yeah. yeah.
because you've been doing your thing for a long time since '78. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, a little before that. A little before that. Yeah. But you was under another name, wasn't it? Before you were... Cool DJ Kurt. Cool DJ Kurt. Why the name change? Um, well, that actually is a lot of different stories around it. You have the story of Russell Simmons convinced me to change my name, but it actually was like a joke um, geared toward Eddie Chiba. And everybody said, I need, oh, you need to change, change your name, change your name. And I was like, oh, for what? You know, I like my name. You know, it's my name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, you need a name like Eddie Chiba or DJ Hollywood or one of those guys. And I was like, oh, well, what do you want me, Curtis Blow, Eddie Chiba, Curtis Blow? <laughs> you know, so and we all laughed about it. But um, um, it just spread like wildfire, yeah. you yeah. know, throughout the college. And yeah. everybody yeah. started calling me yeah. that. You know? And I believe you also taught... Um, Run to Ryan. Yeah, yeah. He he was my protege um, um, when we were in college. When I was in college, 18, 19, he was you know 14, 15, yeah. and uh, he was just amazed at what we were doing. You know, giving all the parties and everything. Russell and I coming home with the flyers and yeah. everything. So he wanted to be down. So I just <laughs> took him yeah, under you, my wing. And you brought him in. Brought him in. He was the son of Curtis Blow. <laughs> During that time, all, all the DJs had their, their protégés and they called them their sons, you know, like Bambada, the son of Bambada was yeah. Africa Islam. Right. DJ yeah. Hollywood had DJ Smalls, you know. Yeah. Right. So, so, you know, I just put him under my wing and uh, yeah. made him my homie. The first time I heard of you guys, because I'm a bit younger than you guys. No. If you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the um, On The Strength album, and that was like 88. Right. And my older brother used to blast the tune Gold. Mm -hmm. Used to kill that tune. And I used to go, who, who are these guys? Who are these? I saw the album cover, I saw you holding the keys in your hand, the slick outfit, girls around with <laughs> the cars and so on. And I thought, well, who are these guys? He goes, and if you like that, listen to this. Played with The Message, White Lines, all the rest of your stuff. Mm -hmm. and, I was, and I was thinking, because around them times, I was like a big, like Big Daddy Kane, Keris Wilde. Right, they were the catch that was hot at that time. Yeah, yeah. At the time, yeah, yeah. I, I was, and I, I thought, but these guys, these guys were doing it since back then. So I wanted to know more about you guys, and it, and it got me thinking. Even when I was, when I knew I was going to interview you guys, is what was it like trying to get the deal back in those days? Because hip hop and rap wasn't really around. So no, when it when it, when it first kicked off, it wasn't all that difficult because. Um, Sugar Hill Gang had made Rabbit's Delight and everybody who was a fake producer or even a real producer was going out trying to find somebody to be on wax. It was like, we could choose who we wanted to record. Cash was coming out the woodwork with Yo, because we had recorded a joint on, on Brazilian Records when they was calling us a younger generation. We, 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 it was, I like say, it was just like, this is an example. When, when Sugar Hill Gang made their record, about maybe a month later, it was like 50 records on the market. They was coming out the woodwork as producers and, yeah. and and just you know coming out with twelve inches like it was before before then it wasn't even heard of but after they, they released it a, a, a month later fifty joints on a month it was just so many fake yeah. producers coming out that you just you had your choice of them cats like they yeah. show up at the show yo we want to record you that kind of stupidness yeah 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 so it wasn't all that difficult at, at first yeah it got difficult when it started getting more of a business well it wasn't difficult for us because from the streets we was the top cat so if somebody was looking to do a record with somebody we would be the first choice that's how we got on Sugar Hill Records when they was looking to, to sign other acts. You know what I mean? We was like their first choice to be on the label because we was in the streets, we was the number one group. Yeah. But it was a good feeling though. It was like, like you know, we've been doing this thing for four or five years on the streets, you know, playing in the parks and the community centers and, you know, the black parties and all that. And here we come, somebody comes up from a, a record label. You never heard yeah. of the label. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, hey, we want to give you a contract to make a record. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're yeah. like, wow. wow. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not really. Because you was the first hip hop artist to go gold, right? Yeah. yeah. What an achievement. What a, they got yourself for that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, I think, I think the Sugar Hill Gang went gold before I did. But you were the first solo artist coming back. But down, mine right? was certified. It was just certified. Yeah, yeah. They didn't report yeah. to the RIAA yeah. yeah. commission. Yeah, they went gold out the yeah. trunk of somebody's car. <laughs> Great. <laughs> And then, and then Niles um, covered your track five with the world and went to number one with that. Right. That's right. a big up for you as well. Yeah, right? was it big here in England as yeah, well? Yeah, it was big. Everyone knows that too. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. cool. Now you know, now you know. Because yeah. <laughs> I know the original was number one here in, yeah, in, yeah. in England. Yeah, yeah. They used to get played on the radio loads back in the 80s. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. People love that. People love that. Yeah, that was actually a great song. When when Kurt came out with that, I was like, oh, why didn't I write that song? <laughs> <laughs> that was the cut. <laughs> Kurt, you still think you can rule the world, man? I gotta do that joint for you guys. All right, man. It was number one in England. You made it number one right here. 1985. Check it out. Say what? Then back them up, y'all. For you guys, Where's, what's the next move? I mean, you know, we put the group back together. We went on our separate paths and we did that, but we never got together as the group without, well, everybody knows the situation with us in Flash, but we wanted to put the Furious Five brand out there. Mm -hmm. And we never took that brand as far as we think that we could take it. Yeah. So before we start walking around on canes and become real old men, yeah. <laughs> we want to see how far we can take our brand. Yeah, because yeah. see what, what we're trying to do right now, and, it, and it's like just a, a concept and it's a theory, but my theory about hip hop and the whole landscape of hip hop is, is probably more real hardcore hip hop fans that's 30 and up hardcore mm -hmm. than it would be 30 and down. Mm -hmm. So if we uh, capture that classic hip hop market, Mm -hmm. That would probably be the next wave in hip hop because they're trying to dumb everything so down to where they get to the lowest mm -hmm. or the youngest, mm -hmm. but they actually taught all of these people not to buy records yeah. no more. That's, That's why, why you don't get the sales. Now. That's why you don't get the. But our people, if we can galvanize our people, our people will come out and they'll support it because they're waiting for us to do That's what right. we need to do anyway. That's right. So our whole thing is to build up that classic hip hop market to where, you know, if the Furious Five is the Rolling Stones and then Kurt is Elvis. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> and we wanna, we wanna, tr we wanna say, um, um, let, let our fans know if they wanna try to get in contact with us, check out what we're doing. Yeah, you know, download some some um, pictures, things like that. We got our website. Yeah. it's uh, www.furious5. That's fury f o r f u f u r i o u s numeral five dot c o dot u k. Cool, 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 cool. You heard it, you've heard it, you've heard it, you heard it. But you guys, look, you guys have achieved so much. You've been inducted in the Music Hall of Fame. Um, loads of things happen for you guys. You guys gonna rap on the moon next? Well, we, if we, we get a we, chance to. We, 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 we're about to go super <laughs> duper huge. We're we, we about to put this album together. We, it's gonna be real good. We got a book, Dino wrote a book, so we, we shopping a book deal. And it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be real good. But like I said, we taking it to the next level as far as a classic hip hop level. We, and we're not gonna leave it up to, you know, the industry standards of what they think we are. We gonna make our own standard because that's how hip hop got started. If yeah. we would have left this up to some injury, in, industry cat to then say who we was gonna be, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't be yeah. hip hop. So yeah. we, we doing it right back, you know, how we did it from the beginning to self promote our, our and, and self describe ourselves. Yeah. We're not gonna let nobody describe or define the Furious Five and Curtis Blow. We gonna Going to define the Furious Five yeah. and Curtis yeah. Blow. We're going to take it to that next level. That's good because, because ki kids and cats these days need to know the basis of hip hop, where it started, and you guys, you lot should be out there. You lot should be telling. Yeah, and, and, and actually, what they need to understand about hip hop is it has nothing to do with drugs and violence. 
No, he like that, that was the last. That was the last thing that we wanted to do. Is like I'm 48 years old. I never shot nobody. I never stabbed yeah. nobody. The only record I got is I was driving a car without a license because we had enough money to buy a car before I got the yeah. license. Yeah. We was out there just having fun and, and, and you know performing for people and having a good time. I yeah. mean, you know where they came with the gangster rap and the violence and the guns. I mean, and it was always pointed to me. And people used to think yeah. I was a hater. But I might have been like the original hater because I was like, you know, when it first came, I was like, yo, that that's corny. I ain't with that. Yeah. Yo, man, you hate. Because yo, that's the, that, that ain't the way it's supposed to be. Because I know I was never like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, and I'm just as hip hop as anybody else. Yeah. And you can't sustain anything like that because the bottom line is, if you're going to influence people to to be some kind of fake thug, right? Mm. Once, if, if you if you want to be a fake thug and you want to make records, right? Once you do something stupid on your next show, the police are just going to come and get, get you. you. Yeah, but you're telling the information on record. Exactly. <laughs> so <laughs> you 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 you're either going to be a thug and be in the streets running wild, or you're going to or you're going to make records. Yeah. You can't do both. Yeah, that's right. Right. That's right. That's right. Because listen, we know we know some <clears throat> real. We know. I mean, we've been in, we've been in the business over 30 years. I know a couple of cats that that got arrested when we first made a record. And got out, did a life bid, 25 years, and he, and I mean a straight murderer, yeah. and ne none of them never thought about making records. Uh, yeah. So it's all a scam. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, so yeah, that's why, you yeah. know, hip hop, we out there having fun, we doing our thing, and that's what we're gonna continue to do that's and take it to yeah. the next level. That's it. Well, it's like a jungle sometimes, isn't it? Really, right? Make you wonder. Yeah, people kind of under. I went back and forth, right? There was so many. <laughs> he want to be in the group. That's how the job. I think he want to be in the group. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, like, you guys. Obviously, listening to hip hop and rap since you lot started and so on. I want you guys to tell me, in each decade, 80s, 90s, and now, who's been hot? Start with 80s. Well, 80s, I guess that you could leave that to run it, uh, running it. They were probably about the hottest. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. 90s. I have to leave that to somebody else. That's when I stopped NWA. listening to hip hop. <laughs> Right, I would have yeah, to say that's when that gangster rap started. Um, we'd have to NWA and the Cats, yeah. NWA, huh? Ice yeah. Cube. Yeah. And now, oh, now of course is either Jay Z or Fifty. Right, it's one of either one of them. You, you Eminem. Can, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, you could say either Jay Z or Fifty. It all depends on which way you want. If you want to, if you want your hip hop. Um, um, yeah, if you want bit. a gangster or a gangsterish. There you go. <laughs> That's it. There you go. <laughs> Take one of them guys. There you go. My, my words exactly. Uh, there you go. Okay, okay. Did y'all see Scorp's face? Look at it. Scorp's face. I mean, that's it. Oh, chilling, yeah. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All no, day, no, every day. Scorp. No. Cool, 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 cool. So now, I've just got some quick fire questions for you guys, yeah? Sure. Just no off problem. the cuff, just, just ask them how you feel. Is that right? Something like that? It's our first when it rains, it pours, man. <laughs> Superheroes or supervillains? <clears throat> Superheroes. Superheroes, yeah. Superheroes. Cool. Okay. Day or night? Night. Yeah? Night, I'll take night. Me okay. Too. They don't turn nothing off at night. <laughs> <laughs> Restaurant yeah. frills or home cooked meals? Home cooked home meals. meals. Home cooked. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Cool, cool. Jay Z or Nas? Nas. 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 Nas, no question. Yeah. Yeah. Scorp. Jay Z. 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 We're going we to redefine the genre. It's no longer old school. It's classic, classic hip-hop. Like no, classic hip -hop. cars, classic paintings, classic hip-hop. No, we're worth, we worth more than that. No, one wow. more time. www.furiousnumeral5.co.uk You heard it. Furious 5, Curtis Blow. We out. Peace. Peace. Peace.